Welcome, guys, to another fantastic evening of praying in the spirit at midnight. This is night nine of um, season five of Prayer Siege. Um, we can see all your comments uh, in front on a big TV. So welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone. Trevor, good to have you. Uh, Chanel, good to have you as well. Nita, uh, Phil, uh, Fiona, Susan, thank you so much for being on. Charmaine, um, I really like your green tinted photograph. That's really cool. Uh, Natasha, so good to have you on as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for being a part. There's been so many people join on through this last week and a half, and I'm sure everyone got excited about the extension to for another week of doing this. You know, we've had so many testimonies flooding in literally daily about people who have said, well, you know, I can pray in the spirit for like 10 minutes, and now I'm praying for hours at midnight every night, and it's completely changed my world. And, you know, people going through deliverances, people going through healings, people being awakened to the spirit of prayer. In a, in a whole new way from all different nationalities. So God is really moving. We can really feel the presence of God when we're praying here in the studio as well. And um, yeah, we just want to thank God. We want to bless God for what he's doing. And we want to thank him that he is building capacity within us. You know, this is first and foremost, this is what these nights are about. They're not first and foremost about giving out like maybe prophetic words or things like that. They are amazing. But these nights in particular, they're about just about building capacity building capacity going to the gym going to the spiritual gym and building capacity where our inner man is strengthened and emboldened in the things of God so first and foremost these nights are about aiding your time with God I know many of you guys have done many of the nights so far can I ask you what has been your favorite night so far out of the nine nights Obviously, nine, the ninth one hasn't happened yet, so you can say ninth in a prophetic way. Um, but uh, what has been your favorite one so far? For me, I think it was night three. I think that was the one that, and I think I really enjoyed two nights ago as well in particular. Uh, so night three for me, I think was my favorite. The reason I say that is, uh, okay, Natasha's saying night eight. Holly is saying all. <laughs> no, I love that. Uh, Fiona is saying night seven. The reason I ask that question is because there will always be some nights sometimes, well, of a lot of people, that some nights they're not going to feel as much. They're not going to sense it. You know, they're going to feel like a bit like, oh, is it quite working? Or did I get a lot out of that? Or, you know, did I really connect with the Lord? Um, but then there'll be other w nights where it's like amazing. And the thing what God wants us to grow in is whether we know we are receiving something in that moment that we keep persevering you know when you go to the gym when you do exercise there is some nut there's sometimes you go to the gym and you think it was a rubbish session but you know what when you got through that session it leads you on to a better session somewhere down the road and you know every like three months especially if you're into the gym every three months you can see a massive difference only if you've done the consistent work in the dark some nights feel great, some nights don't feel as great, but the main thing is consistency, and that's what builds capacity. And so we're excited for another night tonight. Um, and so I just want to introduce you to the, the team around me. It's such a blessing to have another full house on a Monday night, praying in the spirit. So we got Balaji on the dr drums, like always, which is amazing. Well, not like always, but many, many times we do this together. But Bludgy is such a blessing. Uh, we've got Phil praying alongside me tonight. How are you doing, Phil? I'm all right. I'm good. Thanks, Matt. Are you really happy about tonight? I am in incredibly excited about tonight. Are you as happy as that big lion next to your face? I am incredibly... I, I am I am roaring just like that lion. Okay. I well. am ready to roar just like that lion. Okay. All yeah, right. Amazing kind of artwork. As well, Matt. So thank you very I'm much. Done. If you, yeah, maybe, maybe in future ones, if you just grow your hair down a bit longer and just, <laughs> you know, maybe have a good raw next to it and we yeah. can sort of measure it up, that'd be great. Let's see. Great poster. <laughs> <laughs> if you want Phil's face on a poster, order now. Okay. So we've <laughs> also got so good. We've got so many people. I think we've got eight or nine people in the house tonight. So we've got Damien. Damien's on bass. So Lorianne, she's uh, taken a no, she's going to be watching from home tonight. Yes. But Damien, her husband, is playing on the bass tonight. So do welcome Damien as well. So good. Uh, we got Ade as well on the piano. How are you doing? Where did you drive from? Was it Sheffield? How long did that take you? 
Oh, that's so cool. Well, thank you so much for being with us tonight. And we've also got lots of other prayers in the alley, in the alleyway, in the hallway. I'm going to say alleyway. <laughs> in the hallway, we've got F.A. Um, do you want to just say hello to us? Hi, hi. So good to be here. So good to so have good you tonight. To and behind F.A., we've also got Sister Debbie and we've also got Claire, uh, our fiery uh, intercessor warriors at the background there. So the whole place, and we've also got Joel in the back on production. So we, the whole house is flooded with intercessors. I can't wait to get started for tonight. I really believe the fire is going to fall. And I just want to turn our attention before we start praying in the spirit. Uh, just to, if you have a Bible, why don't you just open it to Luke 2, 36 to 38. Luke 2, 36 to 38. She, uh, this lady here, Anna, who I'm about to speak about, Anna the prophetess, she is one of my favorite people in the whole Bible. If you, Most people will say, oh, David or, you know, Elijah. Anna, for me, is the one that I'm like, yes, I've got a blueprint there of something I want to attain. So Luke 2, uh, 36 to 38, it says that there was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Peniel, of the tribe of Asher. There was a prophetess called Anna, the daughter of Peniel, of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage and then was a widow until she was 84. She, this, I love this line, she never left the temple. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying. Coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. I love that she never left the temple and she didn't just worship God only with singing, but she worshipped God night and day with fasting and praying. That's an incredible blueprint. I love the fact that then Jesus, baby Jesus is introduced to her as a result of this tremendous devoted life to her. So one of the things I love about Anna, and we can, you know, we'll see how the Holy Spirit directs us, but I love the fact that Anna had three graces in particular. She was an intercessor, she was a prophetess, and she was also an evangelist as well. And I love the fact that those three ministries come together in one lady who was a fiery, devoted, passionate intercessor. So I don't know about you, but I want to start praying now in the spirit. I'm going to pray for us just before we get going. But we're going to start to pray in the spirit. And then we're going to release short, sharp declarations about how the Holy Spirit prompts us. So, Lord, I want to pray first and foremost for everyone who is watching tonight, Lord. I pray they would encounter your fire afresh tonight, Lord. I pray, Lord, that they would love tonight, Lord. It would fill up their heart, Lord. It would fill up their heart with praise and worship to you, Lord. And we say, Lord, all the glory, all the honor, and all the power goes to you, Lord. And we're saying tonight, Lord, empower us in the spirit to grow to a greater capacity, Lord. Where even praying in an hour after this month feels very, very, very small, Lord. So, Lord, we're praying, Lord, stretch us tonight, Lord, afresh, Lord. Stretch us beyond where we've currently gone, Lord. And I'm praying, Lord, that same, that same intercessory gift, Lord, that rested upon Anna, that same same prophetic spirit that rested upon Anna, that same evangelist spirit that rested upon Anna. Lord, rest upon us tonight, Lord, and stir us in those three things, God, as we start to pressing in the spirit, Lord. So, Lord, we're saying, Lord, fill us, Lord, with fresh tongues, Lord, of fire, Lord. Father, we're saying, Lord, release, Lord, tongues that we've never even heard come out of our mouth tonight, Lord. Father, we're saying release that now, Lord, by your grace, Lord, by your grace, God, Lord. Thank you, God. I, Lord, I pray your fire, Lord, over everyone watching tonight, Lord, that you would stir us, Lord. You would stir us, Father, afresh, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Take us up one more step, Lord, tonight, Lord. Let night nine count, Lord, massively in our journeys with you, Lord, in the capacity that's been built in 
obeying you, God. So, Lord, we're saying, Lord, come, Lord, and teach us how to pray, Lord, and strengthen us, Lord, tonight, Lord, in the spirit, Lord, as we enter into the spiritual gym, Lord, tonight, Lord. Do something new in our hearts, Lord. Do something new in our spirits, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. So let's start to pray now in the spirit and let's start to dive in deep, God.
So Lord, we say, Lord, like you release the grace, Lord, a sustaining grace, Lord, upon Anna's life, Lord, an empowering, sustaining grace, Lord, for long prayer, Lord. We're saying, Lord, that we want to be intercessors, Lord, not for months, Lord, not for weeks, Lord, not for days, Lord, but for years, Lord, for decades, God, Lord. We want to burn, Lord. We want to burn, Lord, like Anna did for decades, Lord, Lord. So we're saying, God, that you would release a grace, Lord, for long prayers, for long years, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would set us up, Lord, for decades upon decades upon decades, Lord, of burning, Lord, night and day, Lord, before you, Lord, having the grace to fast and to pray, Lord, to fast and pray and to worship you, Lord, not only with singing, Lord, but with fasting and prayer, Lord. So we're saying, Lord, release that sustaining grace tonight, Lord. Release that persevering spirit, Lord. Release that willing spirit, Lord, in our lives, Lord, to persevere beyond anything that we could ever imagine to be possible, God. So, Lord, release that, Lord. Stir us up, Lord. Stir us up, Lord. Woo our hearts, Lord, with an intercessor's dream, Lord.
in your presence, Lord Jesus, that spend our days in your temple, Lord God, in your courts, Lord Jesus, seeking after your heart, Lord God, seeking after what, what makes you tick, Lord Jesus. Stir up the fire within us, Lord God. Stir up that fire, Lord Jesus. Stir up the fire, Lord Jesus. Fire, Lord Jesus. Shabra mama sandale mama makandere. Shabra mama sandale mama de. Part of us, 
us, Lord. We want to be 24 7, Lord, like Anna was, Lord. We want the grace for long prayers, Lord. We want the zeal to be our fuel, Lord. Consume us, Lord, with zeal, Lord, with zeal, God. Thank you, God, for your house, Lord. Yes. A fire, the fire shall always be burning on the altar. Yes. It shall not go out. Yes. It shall not go out. Yes. We receive the fire consistently. Yes. The, our fire will never go out. Yes. The fire will never go out. Yes. The consistency, the consistency we receive tonight. Your passion, your passion for God will never yes, go out. Lord. Our passion for God will never go out. Yes, we will yes. always burn. Yes. We will always burn. We will yes, always Lord. burn. Day and night. Day and night. Yes. Day and night. Yes. Day and night. We yes. continue to burn for Him. Lemon, most of the young, but 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 the
every resistance now. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Holy Lord, Lord, break every wall down. Yes. Break every wall down. Let the spirit flow. Let the fire flow. Yes. Break every wall yes, down. Yes, every yes, resistance yes. to the move of God in our lives. Amen. Every resistance to the move of God in the nation. Yes. Every resistance to the move of God in the churches. Yes. We break. Lord, yes, 
storm. When now, Lord, our spirit would feel restricted to watch or listen to certain things, God. Amen. There would be a restriction, Amen. Lord, towards other things like, Lord, that we have entertained in the past, Lord, but in the season ahead for the, the consecration that you're calling us to have, Lord, to go to another level of intercession, Lord. We're saying, Lord, do a 180 in our lives, Lord. Now, where there's a restriction, Lord, there's a ban on things, Lord, that used to entertain us, and now there is a distaste in our spirit for them, Lord. So, Lord, we're saying, Lord, we want purity, Lord. We want the pure thing, God. We want a pure diet, Lord. Say that with me right now, that you want a pure diet. You want a pure diet. You want a heavenly diet, Lord. Thank you, God, Lord. So release that in us, Lord. Burn off, Lord, those things of the world, Lord. Burn off those fantasies, Lord. Burn off those dreams at night, Lord, that cause all sorts of wicked deceptions, Lord. Also of sexual perversions, Lord. Burn it off, Lord, in our lives, Lord. Every dream, Lord, that has been contaminated, Lord. We're saying that ends now, Lord. We're saying the filter of God come, Lord. That you would restrict us, Lord, to the things of the world. That we would be resigned to a life of holiness, Lord. A life of consecration. A life of fruitfulness, Lord. That we would reject lawlessness, Lord. And that we would take up your Yes, I just pray that the toxic streams would be blocked up now, Lord God. Yes. The toxic streams would be dammed up, Lord God. Yes. The toxic streams that flow into our water, uh, uh, into holy waters, Lord God, they would be dammed up now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Those things that we entertain, Lord God, those things that we just complacently just let, just let pass through our minds, Lord God. Lord, I pray, Father, that there would be a guard and a gate over our minds, Lord Jesus. That we would take captive every thought, Lord God, that floats through our mind, Lord Jesus. We dam up anxieties, Lord. We dam up worries, Lord Jesus. We dam up sexual perversion, Lord God. We dam up unforgiveness, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we dam up all sorts of jealousies and envies, Lord God. All sorts of bitterness. Be dammed up. Be closed up in our lives, Lord God, that we may have the pure waters running through us, Lord God. The pure waters of your spirit running through us, Lord Jesus. Shabba mama sanda la ba 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 mama sanda la 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 Shabba mama mama sanda la ba 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 Shabba <laughs> <laughs> 
Jesus, we pull them down. Every thought, every imagination, every stronghold, we pull you down now in the name of Jesus. Shabados ke brega dene me koran chos ka bada, man beke chos ka brega dene. Every mindset, every yes. imagination yes. is submitted to the will of God. Yes. We submit our thoughts. Yes. We submit our mindsets. Yes. We submit our imaginations. Yes. We submit our feelings. Everything yes. about our emotions. Yes. We submit yes. to the will of God. Yes. We submit to the will of God. Everything contrary. Everything yes. contrary. Depression, anxiety, yes. fear. We speak against you now in the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. And we decree every of our thoughts, our imaginations, our, our everything, our feelings are submitted yes. to the will of God in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes, Lord God, I just pray, Father, that our, that our prayers won't be driven by our feelings and our emotions, yes. Lord God, yes. and how we're feeling today or what circumstances around us. Yes. But Lord, it'll be driven by your Holy Spirit, Lord yes. God, yes. and what is on your heart, Lord yes, Jesus. God. Yes. May me not be ruled by our thoughts, Lord. But maybe we be ruled by your Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. May your Holy Spirit rule and reign in our life, Lord God. That despite what goes on around us, despite what is going on, what storms are in our minds, what storms are around us, what circumstances we face, we are ruled by your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Oh, 
As the deer pants for the water, so my soul pants for you, O God. Yes. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul pants for you, God. My soul thirsts for you, O God. Yes. For the living God. Lord, our souls thirst for you, Lord, this evening. Yes. Our souls pant for you, Lord God. Yes. Shara mama si and the living God. Siki anana mama ma shiki ala mama ma sondolo momo. Sobra baba 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 ba shi and the re. Shabra mama ma sandere mama ma kandere. Shabra baba 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 so kundala mama shande. Shabra mama mama si and the mama ma kandere. Stir our hearts, O God. Stir our hearts, Lord God. Siya mama ma shi and the mama. May our souls only thirst for you, Lord Jesus, for the living God, for the all-consuming fire, Lord. Sabra mama mama shi andale mama mama shi andale. Shaba baba baba shi ki andale mama kande. Sobro momo sondale baba 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 shi ki andale. Shaba baba baba shi ki andale mama shi andale. Sabra baba 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 shi andale mama. Oh, shi ki andale. Yes, Lord, we long for you, Lord. In a dry I am weary land where yes. there is no water, Lord. We long for you, Lord, in a dry and a weary world, Lord, where there is no rest and there is no peace, Lord. But in you, Lord, we can find our rest. We can find our peace, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We are craving, Lord, a fresh encounter with you, God. We are craving that, Lord, to see you as we've never seen you before, God. We're asking, Lord, for a greater encounter to be released to us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we would see those consuming fires eyes Lord thank you Lord that yes. burning Lord that yes. comes from your being God we want to see that Lord we are not content with what this world offers us Lord it does not go deep enough Lord but your spirit does Lord and we want an intimacy with you Lord that makes us smile at work day in day out Lord because we can't stop thinking about you Lord we're in love with you yes. dear Lord and evangelism yes, yes. becomes easy then because all we can think about is what we want to talk about which is you God Lord yes. you are the best portion of our lives Lord yes. but I pray Lord that you would become the biggest portion of our lives Lord. Lord, like Anna, Lord, had three graces upon her life, intercession, prophetic spirit, and the evangelism. Lord, I pray, Lord, the prophetic spirit would rest upon us, Lord, that we would see what is coming up, Lord. We would discern your thoughts, Lord. So let that prophetic spirit rest upon us, Lord, where vision needs to come, Lord. Come Lord, spirit pants for you, Lord. You are the author of life, and you're still the author of life. And when we're looking for life, we are looking for Jesus. So we're looking for yes. you, Lord. Let life replace every boredom yes. in the name of Jesus, Lord. I feel the Lord saying right now that he has so much to show us. If you're hungry, he has so much to show us. 
Lord. Spirit of revelation, come, Lord. Show us, Lord. Show us, Lord. Yandara bumu kandara bumu baba yandara. Yandara bo se dara bumu kandara bo. Ola bo se dara ba. Take us where we didn't think we had permission to see, Lord. Yandara bo se dara ba mu ya. Yandara bumu baba yandere be. Ola ba 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 mama yandara ba bumu se dara ba yandere ya. Lo so dara bo se dara ba ba yandara. Yamara ba mu ba 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 ba. Come and drink, says the Lord. I believe. Come and drink. Come and drink. Come and drink. Come and enjoy me. Come and enjoy me. Ola ma se dara ba mu se dara ba bo ya. Ola mu se dara ba ba yanda ra ba ba yanda ra. Yes, yanda ra bo se dara ba mu se dara ma ma. Ola ba bo se dara ba bo ko dara ba se daya. La ma so dara ba bo ko dara ba mu daya. Yes, yanda ra bo se dara ba bo ba ba. Yanda ra bo ko dara ba bo ba ma. Na la ma ko se dara ba bo se dara ba bo ba. Ola mu dara ma ma yanda ra ba ba ba. Ka se dara ba bo se dara ba. Ora ramo ko se dara bo se dara be, ishi dara bo se dara bo bo yam bara ba, ishi dara bo se dara ba ma yam dara ba, ishi dara bo se dara ba yam dara bo se ya, bo se dara bo se dara bo se dara bo ya, bo se dara bo se dara bo se dara bo sa, ko se dara bo se dara bo se dara bo sa, bo se dara bo se dara bo se dara mo mo se dara yam mo ko se dara yam bo bo sa. Genesis chapter thirteen. Genesis chapter 13, and this this is one thing that I believed God was saying to me even before this dream. And for Matt to now begin to talk about vision and God opening our eyes, I just thought, wow, this is amazing. This is the Spirit of God moving. Um, I felt God was saying to me that for us to increase in capacity, we need our eyes to be open. Mm. Our eyes to be open. And He was saying to Abraham, and in verse 14 of Genesis chapter 13, He says, Lift your eyes now, lift up your eyes, and look from wow. the place where you are northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see, I give to you and your descendants forever. So God was increasing His territory. Yes. God, God was increasing His capacity. Wow. But for Abraham to step into that capacity, his eyes needed to be opened. Yes. And even before this stream, I felt God saying to me that our eyes will be opened. The vision of, of as many as want to receive it will be opened. So wow. I, we, we speak over every single person, yes. including ourselves here on site. Yes. We speak that our eyes are open. Yes. And by the word of the Lord, we, we, we say, lift up your eyes. Yes. <laughs> open up your eyes and begin to see. Because yes. the capacity that God wants to give you is so much, is so great. And yes. God is just saying, open up your eyes to see. See what I have yes. ahead of you. Yes. Open up your eyes. Just look northward. Yes. Look eastward. Look westward. Look yes. southward. Because God is opening our eyes to see. Yes. Because we are stepping into new, into new territories, yes. into new environments, into greater capacity. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, sweet Jesus. So, Lord, we just announced, Lord, that we will be able to see, Lord, at an extended rate, Lord. Yes. We would have a provision. I can't even say the word. <laughs> I can't even say the word. Just a view, Lord, that it goes like 360 degrees round, Lord. It's able to see things from different angles, Lord. That we would be able to see. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Just reminded right now of when one time when I was waiting on the Lord. I was waiting on the Lord. It was just 30 minutes. I wasn't really saying anything. And then God showed me a picture. And he took me around this picture. It took about two or three minutes. And he took me around this picture. And he showed me individual details. And I didn't know that I could receive such a long extended picture with such extended long uh, detailed and I just pray Lord right now Lord that what how we currently hear from God or how we see Lord take us into another place where it's almost like a cinematic experience yes. where we're able to see and we're able to discern your yes. thoughts yes. with 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 immense clarity God yes. and with Amen. immense sensitivity God Thank you, God, that we would be able to feel your heart, Lord. Like you said in the cinema, you can feel things, Lord, through different senses. I pray, Lord, that you would awaken more senses in us yes. in the place yes. of prayer, Lord. Yes. Maybe we've only got two senses open right now, Lord. Launch them all, God. Yes. Launch them all, Lord, in our lives, Lord. Yes. Launch them all where it's literally like the funnest thing in the world coming to prayer, Lord. Yes. Because we can't believe what we're going to
going to experience, what we're going to see, what we're going to hear, what we're going to smell, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Awaken the senses to the things of the Holy Spirit, to you, Lord. You know, like the Lord says, that man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. You know, I just feel like God encourages us. We are not to live off what we just see. Yes. in our natural realm we are not to live <laughs> oh, yes. of just what we see yes. and we're not yes. to feast on BBC news more than the good oh, news yes. we're to feast on God yes. and we're going to see new things in yes. God and we're not going to rely on our natural sight as the number yes. one thing good. to receive good. our oh, information man. from oh, but man. instead we're going to rely on our spiritual eyes to yes. receive revelation from yes. so Lord we're saying Lord awaken that way of thinking yes. Lord so that we would navigate our surroundings Lord not by what we see Lord but by our faith Lord thank you Holy Spirit God let that see see anointing rest upon us now Lord So Lord, I say, Lord, just let the senses awaken now, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every restriction, every blockage go in the name of Jesus, Lord. Like so many have said, Lord, I've never had this, but many have said that they've smelt Jesus and it just smelt like roses coming in the room. It smelt amazing, the fragrance of life coming in the room. Lord, I pray, Lord, awaken our noses to smell the sense of Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. Like the disciples got taken up onto the Mount of Transfiguration, Lord, and they saw you in a brilliant light, Lord. Lord, we want to see you with our eyes in a brilliant light, Lord. Let our ears be closed to the flesh and open to the Spirit of God. Let us taste and see that the Lord is good. Let us taste and see that the Lord is good. Our worship depends on tasting and seeing that God is good. Yes, if we're, if we're consumed by the things of this world, if we're consumed by uh, the natural things, by the, the natural things, then we'll never see the supernatural things. Oh Lord, I just pray, Father, that we'd not be consumed by the things of this world, by the worries, by the concerns, by yes. the things that press in. But Lord God, we'll be consumed by by the supernatural things, Lord yes. God. That, Lord God, we would see what you see, Lord Jesus. Yes. That we would see what you see, Lord God. Yes, that, God. That, Father, you'd take us down to, to, the, to the base layer of what you see, Lord God. Yes, where all Lord. the all the stuff has been stripped away and we see right through. Lord, Lord. 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 Lord.
and I feel like some people are that that they, they, they hold unforgiveness in their heart, which yes. is a bad thing already. But as soon as you remove that unforgiveness and that bitterness in your heart, you will see with God's eyes. Yes. You will see the root cause of what's causing oh, that, that problem in the relationship that you may have, yes. or the issues that you may have, or the problems that you may have. But you need to 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 rip out that unforgiveness. So you can see what God sees. So you can see with righteous eyes yes, what Lord. God sees. You know, one of the things that the Holy Spirit just keeps saying to me all throughout the day today, I know it's for someone on the stream tonight, is Psalm 91 6. Psalm 91 6. Nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. Particularly that bit. Nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness. Lord, I, I believe 100%, Lord tonight Lord that you want to destroy some pestilence in the darkness Lord you want to bind them you want to remove their hold over our dream life Lord so Lord we're saying Lord every darkness that stalks in the darkness in the unseen things that causes fear to come to our hearts comes to fear to come into our homes Lord we're saying right now you have no place in our homes you have no place in our dreams by the blood of Jesus we cut off your access to our dream life in the name of Jesus every sexual perversion every fantasies rooted in darkness that have their origins in darkness we cut you off now in the name of Jesus we cut off every pestilence that stalks in darkness we say let that weapon be void let it be nullified let it not work anymore let it not be able to operate any longer we say that in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus we cut off every pestilence in the darkness that stalks us that plays old storylines that God is not playing in our minds that is causing stories of guilt or shame or betrayal or disappointment we cut it off now in the name of Jesus and we say no longer will that weapon be operational in our dream life in our thought life we take that captive and we make it obedient to Christ thank you Lord so we just we command in the name of Jesus that no pestilence that stalks in the darkness shall be able to operate any longer Lord cleanse us Lord cleanse us Lord Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Deliver us from evil, Lord. Deliver us from evil, Lord. Like it says in your Lord's Prayer. I just see someone who's desperate to follow Jesus and it's almost like it's they're desperate for the things of God. It's like the rich young ruler. It's like the rich young ruler. They're desperate to follow the things of God. But God is saying to you, you need to let go of some things. You need to let go of some things. I have got things planned for you. I have got things ready for you. But yes. you need to let go of certain things in wow. your life that you're holding on to. Wow. And until you let until, until you let go of those things, you will not be able to follow me. Yes. You will you'll be following afar. Yes. But God wants you to come in close. But the only way you can come in close is by letting go of those things that God is putting his fingers on. 
Just like he oh, said to the rich young ruler, let go of all the things, go sell your possessions, go and get rid of all those things. He wants you to do the same things and you know what those things are, but you kind of want to keep them, keep hold of them. But it's foolishness because you'll never ever get hold of what God wants for your life and you're so desperate for it but you're holding on to these things. Yes. So let go of those things now. Yes. Let go of those things and follow after him yes. because he has great plans. And he looks at it. One of the things I really love about that, that whole story is where, where he looks at the, the young man and he loves him. I believe that he looks at you and he loves you right yes. now. And he looks at you with loving arms yes. and he says, come, follow me. Let go yes. of all that stuff. Yes. It's on, some of it's not even sin. It's just weight. It's yeah. just stuff that you don't need. Yeah. Just get rid of it oh, and just bombs. follow after oh, him. Some of you might have to, I don't know, leave your dream job or something like that. I just said that. <laughs> it just God, came out. So or whatever. Just yes. let go of it and know that God, know that God has great things for you. Yes. He has great plans and purposes for you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, I just pray, Father, for all the things in our lives that we hold on to. Yes, Lord. That block. The, the things of you that, that, that get in the way, Lord God, of your plans and purposes for our lives. Yes. Lord, I just pray that you'll break them down, that you'll burn them down, Lord God, with your fire, that you'd burn them down with your fire, Lord Jesus, so that we may walk, walk in your ways, walk in your will, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, we say as well, Lord, let every bitterness go towards former leaders of churches lord yes. in the name of jesus any bitterness that's been harvested har harvested in our hearts towards leaders maybe they're our current leader maybe they're our former leader maybe you fell out with them maybe they fell out with you i don't know but we need to rid ourselves of all bitterness all forms of bitterness yes. you know bitterness shuts down the storyline for your life did you know that yeah, so right. you need to get that's rid right. of that thing because yes. it's like a cancer and it's coming for your destiny it's coming yes. for your future you need yes. to get rid of it so lord we just say lord right now lord that we release lord anybody lord that we've had a argument with or a tip with or we've seen things differently yes. lord with lord that we are we're asking lord that we don't want to grumble about them any longer god Yes. We don't want bitterness to operate in our heart any longer, but we free them, Lord, yes. because you freed us, Lord. When we sinned many times, Lord, you kept giving us mercy and showing us mercy, and you showed us unconditional love even before we even knew your name, Lord. Yes. So we're saying, Lord, that we want to repeat that, Lord. We want to be your ambassadors. We want to reflect your nature, God. And we're saying, Lord, we don't want to hold on to any bitterness tonight, Lord. Amen. We are not going to bed with any bitterness in our hearts. Amen. We free everybody, yes. everyone one gets freed at my party yes. amen thank you amen. holy spirit lord thank you god thank you god we're going to sleep tonight with a fresh clear conscience lord amen. so everything that is that is claimed or distorted our conscience in the last months we're saying tonight it ends tonight it ends thank you god thank you god we're flowing in your ways we're flowing in your love we're flowing in your forgiveness lord and we're acting as you act lord because we love freedom lord and it is for freedom that Christ Amen. set us free. Yes. So we're living yes. in that freedom. Yes. Yes. We're living in that lightness, Lord. We're not living in portrayal, Lord. We're not living in yesterday's manner. Yes. We're not living in yesterday's argument any longer, Lord. Amen. We are free and we are freeing everyone else in our heart, Lord. Yes. No prisoners in our hearts tonight. Yes. No prisoners in our hearts tonight. Thank you, God. Yes. Thank you, God. We bless you, Lord. You, we love you, Jesus, Lord. Thank, Thank you, God. Jesus. We love you, God. Well, wasn't that incredible, guys? Um, wow, I absolutely loved that. That felt like a spiritual birthday party. I enjoyed that so much. That was like the spiritual cake and the... I don't know what else they have at birthday parties. Maybe a clown. I may actually don't. Just forget that last bit about the clown. Okay, but I had a fantastic time. I absolutely loved praying tonight. I'm sure you guys did as well. I'm sure the Lord did a lot tonight as well. But I just feel so stirred in my spirit. I honestly could pray another hour, but I know we need to uh, finish it about now. So I want to say thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed tonight, just do me a favor. Just hit the like button on the video because then YouTube will recommend that to more. You might want to share that with someone that you think, Actually, this is going to stir up their week. You might want to share that with them. 
If you want to donate to Prestom, um, you, um, you, you can go and do that. Just uh, go on to prestom.org and you can just go to the donate section. If you want to give into this ministry, uh, into this work of God here as well. But I want to say, remember, tomorrow night is night 10. I can't believe that. Night 10. So I don't know how many you guys have done, but you know, tomorrow, let's just get back on it. I, I think Josh is going to be joining me tomorrow night as well, but we're going to have a full house again. I want to say a massive thank you. And I'm sure you guys online do as well to the whole team around me. Balaji, amazing, like always, or 100% always. <laughs> Phil, amazing as well. Always great to pray with you, buddy. So good. Damien, thank you so much for being a part of us tonight. So, so good. Um, Ade, so good. Thank you so much for coming over today, you know, and blessing us. Thank you so much. Ife, so good to pray with you as well. Those prayers were so stirring. Thank you so much. Oh, so good. And also Sister Debbie and Claire in the back as well. And Joel as well. Joel's been on every night. He's like Batman. He works only in the night now. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, so I want to say thank you guys so much for being a part of tonight. Honestly, it was such a blessing to me. Uh, and I'm sure it was a blessing to you guys as well. All right. So I'll see you tomorrow night, night 10. Let's get on it. God bless you guys. Thank you.